Hi guys, I just want to show you real quick this beautiful LED angel glitter lamp that I got today. Oh my, I was just so drawn to this when I first saw it. I got it for $20 and I'm drawn because of its beautiful vibration. Um, it soothes me for some reason, you know, it soothes me so much. It gives, it gives me that calm feeling and I don't know, <laughs> um, I'm quite hypnotized with this. So yeah, I just want to share it to you. I really love how it changes colors, like from blue to green and then to violet or purple. Yeah. So, um, I'm also going to do a quick card pull for you guys using Archangel Oracle cards and Indigo Angel Oracle cards as well as the Guardian Angel Oracle cards before heading to bed. Okay, so it's going to be a message hopefully um, that will resonate um, for the collective. It's just a general, you know, one card pull for you guys. Okay, um, but before I do that, let me actually just share something. For some of you who weren't able to, you know, listen to some of my audios on this channel, I actually uploaded um, that I had some angel experiences, you know, um, especially when I was just 12 years old. Um, that is the reason why I'm also drawn to angels and archangels. Um, when I was 12, I almost died. I had near-death experience and I almost, you know, died from drowning because I was actually pushed to the swimming pool by classmates and um, I heard a voice okay and that voice actually asked me to just you know move my legs and it was a woman's voice but very stern not really stern but were like you know it's like a commanding voice um, it turned out when I had some readings with um, sidekicks as well all of them told me that it was actually a guardian angel and then um, the most recent um, Archangel encounter that I've had was just this 2017. And that encounter was with Archangel Zed Kiel. He's the um, Archangel of Mercy and Benevolence or Forgiveness. And I might as well just, you know, leave the link to that audio in case you wanted to listen to that. But yeah, that was actually one of the main reasons why I'm drawn with angels. And at the same time, I've had a past life reading with many psychics as well. And um, they normally tell me that I was actually an angel before I became a human being. And at first, I didn't like totally believe it, okay? But then this February of 2019, one of the psychics, um, spiritual teacher and LNK practitioner, shout out to Marlo, by the way, um, he actually told me, um, he was about the third psychic who told me that I was actually a virtue angel before I became a human being. Um, virtue angel is just one of the ranks, okay, because there are several ranks. I believe the number one rank is seraphim, okay, and cherubim will be number two. Um, and I think archangels are number eight, if I'm not mistaken. You can go look that up. But yeah, and so I told him, yeah, I was told by other psychics that I was actually a virtue angel, but I really don't know. Of course, a lot of you guys are, you know, maybe you're not going to believe it. It's okay to each is his own. I'm just sharing, you know, some stories about angels and archangels as well. And um, I also want to share that I actually found out um, from that spiritual teacher, LNK practitioner, that one of my main archangel guides is archangel michael and archangel gabriel okay so one of my tips for you guys especially if you're a tarot reader a psychic or a medium i was actually taught by psychics that especially if you have so many guides like you have elemental guides like earth air fire water guides and on top of that you have guides or ancestors right or or people, loved ones that, that have passed on and they're actually one of your spirit guides. So there are times that when we're actually doing a reading, they get to, you know, tend to get to be a bit confused, right? Like there's so many messages where it's like you are quite confused, right? Um, it happens. So whenever you feel that way, like it's, there are several messages, like you don't know which, which is which. Um, one of the advice I was given was actually to call on your main Archangel guides. And as for me, I found out that my main Archangel guides, again, it's Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. 
and it works. You know, it definitely works. So if you're also a tarot reader or a psychic uh, medium, you can actually call upon your main archangel guide um, and you will provide it or be led to the right answer to your question, especially if you're doing a reading for someone. So yeah, how to find that out? Well, yeah, I'll probably do um, an archangel reading um, soon. Watch out for that. But anyway, before I head to sleep, let me turn on the lights and let's, you know, do a quick card pull for you. All right. Okay, let's get started. We'll start first with the Archangel Oracle cards. Calling upon Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel and other of my spirit guides and ancestors to provide clear guided messages for the collective. What will be the message for the collective? What message do you have for the collective? And I'm hoping that this message will reach, you know, the right people who are actually meant to get this message. Okay, so you actually got three. I'll show it to you. All right. <laughs> First card, we have Archangel Azrael. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. That's your first message. Second message, we have angel therapy. That's Archangel Raphael. As we all know, Archangel Raphael is the Archangel of healing. Give your cares and worries to his angels and allow us to take your burdens. So if you're actually worried, you're thinking, um, you're very anxious about something, this is your message, okay? Know that Archangel Raphael is actually there to ease your worries. And the last one would be Life Review. And this is by Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is in balance. Okay. So hopefully all of these three messages, you can possibly go back to it, um, are going to be very helpful. Who's watching this video right now. Next one, I'm going to be using Indigo Angel, since we're talking about angels and this beautiful um, glitter, angel glitter lamp. All right. Archangels and angels, please provide clear guided messages for the collective. Okay, there you go. Let's see what that is. Expression. Okay, that is a beautiful card. Look at her. Let me read it from the guidebook, okay? Let's see what this expression is all about. You may pause the video if you want, so you can actually read it yourself. It says here, this card guides you to speak your mind after all. That's one of the reasons Indigo, such as you, came to Earth. For so long, people have not spoken up for themselves. As a result, humanity has lived under the tyrannical control of those with power. Now is the time for change and you're one of the spiritual warriors in charge of initiating that shift. Always speak your mind, but also be aware of how others react to your declarations. Ask the angels to guide you to communicate in ways that allow you to be heard. If you can express yourself in a manner that people can relate to you, your concerns and opinions will be better much received. Okay. All right, this is so beautiful. I'm also hearing that for some of you, um, I'm hearing the word holding back. Um, either you're holding back on something, maybe uh, something to do as well by speaking the truth, expressing the truth to someone. Um, honest expression. I don't know why I keep on getting that. Honestly expressing um, the truth to someone. Maybe it's someone that you wanted to talk to, somebody you haven't communicated with, and you wanted to express your feelings. This will be applicable for, especially for people who are not really, ha or having a hard time expressing themselves. For some, you can just express it through creativity, you know? I'm also getting that. All right, so the last Archangel, rather Garden Angel card or deck, Let's see here what will be the message for the collective. Spirit guide, please provide clear guided messages. Archangels and angels. Messages for the collective.
Oh wow, that was strong. Okay. Let me check that out. You've got three of abundance. Your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Just like what I said earlier, I'm hearing expressing your creativity, right? So this is a definitely a confirmation. I'm using a different deck now. That's exactly why I heard something to do by expressing creativity. But anyway, I hope this resonated with you guys. And thank you so much um, um, for checking out this short video. I really do enjoy it. I'm going to sleep soon, okay? So thank you once again, by the way, for checking out some of the pick a card readings that I've been doing as well. So I appreciate all of your support. And um, I wish you a blessed week ahead. All right, guys. So goodbye. Let me actually turn off the lights now. Love and light. Bye, guys.